Good morning. I like to welcome you to Poem Praise too. I do thank you for tuning in and peace and blessings be upon you and your family this morning. Now we are going to get right back into the flag of Islam. We are now on the moon, the equality. And we're in take number five of this section. So let us go ahead and get right back into it. So without further ado, it goes like this. When a man dies, he rests from all his labor. Today... Allah God, who came in the person of Master Farab Muhammad, to whom praises are due forever, has revealed these secrets which have been kept out of the minds and ears of the black people for the past 6,000 years. The time of the rule of the white man. Oh. Such great signs as have been shown in the heavens and in the earth today. Signs of the destruction and removal of a people who were made to be an enemy of the black nation for the past 6,000 years. The discovery of the possibility of sending cameras to other planets. In order to get close-up pictures of them and the activities on the surface, and to learn whether or not there is a master civilization on some of these planets that can rule us. No. According to the teachings to me of Allah God, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad, to whom praises are due forever, there is no civilization on any other planet that is as wise as we are on this planet, Earth. We are the wisest of all life in the universe. We are the gods of the universe. Since the moon's number is 66 trillion and the white man's number is 6,600 years from the time of his making to the time of his end, the revelator of the Bible, Revelations thirteen eighteen, says that his number is the number of a man. The man is the black man who brought about the mm -hmm. deportation of the moon 66 trillion years ago. He was a God, black man. We never had any other people on the earth other than the black people until 6,000 years ago. According to the teachings to me of Allah God, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad, to whom praises are due forever, all of the races and different colors of people which we have on the planet today were brought from the grafting and making of the white man by his God, Yaqub. Many races have been produced from the four colors. Black, brown, yellow, and white. And the intermixing of these colors. The Earth's population is dominated by their four major colors, black, brown, yellow, and white. The number of the white man is truly the same as that of the black man who caused the deportation of the moon from the Earth. We can add another six because it was six trillion years between the creation of life out of darkness to the creation of the sun of the, excuse me, of the present day sun, which took six trillion years 
Therefore, if we would add that figure onto the time of the age of the moon, we would have three sixes there. But we always have three sixes throughout the whole entire stages of the earth. It was created in six periods of time according to the Holy Quran, which is the most accurate and truthful book. If understood in the hands of men of the earth, we see then that Allah God used the history of the work of the God of the moon 66 trillion years ago to teach us of something of ourselves and of our enemy. Here, we the black men in America stand as a moon devoid of wisdom and the knowledge of self and others. And the moon is devoid of water. We were robbed by a mastermind man with the purpose in mind to destroy the life of the black man. This is what he began with. In the history of the making of the white man, Yakub, the maker of the white race, taught his people to destroy the black babies in the very beginning. And this is his ultimate aim. To destroy all the black people of the earth. The white man is bringing us to North America from our native land was like the moon dropping its water back on this part, the earth. Through the explosion that caused it to be blasted from this part. This history of the white man bringing us out of our native land and people to rob and divide us one against the other under ignorance and lost knowledge of self was in order to get even with our black people for casting him out of Arabia into the wilderness and hillside of what is now called Europe. The white man being made and not a creature from our father, the creator of the universe. The white man was made merciless. Therefore, the white man being without mercy to God and being an enemy of truth. He was well qualified to do us the worst harm that any human being could do. The white man being deprived of mercy by nature, then he could never be merciful to us, the righteous, who by nature he was made an enemy against. So the father of the white man easily captured and brought our black people into submission. And we being the children of the black father were born blind as the Bible teaches us in Jesus' parable of the man who was born blind. This refers to us. We were born blind to the knowledge of self for 400 years. Years We became totally dead and the prophets prophesied that we must be resurrected and restored to life again. Knowledge of self. As if a cloud we cloud were sent to the moon to pour water down on her surface, which would produce life again. The only way we could be restored mentally of the knowledge of self, Allah, God himself, came. In the Bible, the book of Ezekiel represents God as coming himself to give us life. The history of Solomon further bears witness to the coming of Allah, God himself, and the signs made in the history of Solomon and sending deputies out to look for the murdered architect, who was the great architect of his temple. But, on finding the architect murdered by his abductors, the architect had been dead for so long that the messengers could not bring him back to the temple to be buried under it. So the king himself had to go out to show them how to lift him out of the grave. This is a sign of the coming of Allah God in the person to raise up we the mentally dead and restore our life to us. There are other significance to the 
destruction, which took place on our earth and which caused the moon to be blasted from the earth. But this that I give here is to show why Allah, God, used the moon to show forth the significance of our history under the white American slave master. Do not forget that the intention of the two gods, the god of the moon and the god of the white man, are the same. The white man will by no means bring us away from our native land and then restore us again back there. He did not have that in mind when he brought us here, nor does he have in mind to help us. But since trouble has arisen in his own house, he is willing to throw us out rather than take the suicidal steps of trying to kill us, which will also cause an immediate destruction of his own life because the God of the lost found members of the aboriginal people is present and he would destroy such plan and bring to a naught and destroy such planners who try to destroy us. Nonetheless, it is in the mind of the white slave master's children to destroy us. Since he made us blind, deaf, and dumb to the knowledge of ourselves, and now he hopes to destroy us to keep our own black kind from again recognizing us as their black brothers and sisters equal to them, the same as the moon is equal to the earth. Only the moon is deprived of water, and we are deprived of knowledge. Once we get the knowledge of ourselves and others, the giver of the knowledge being God himself. His aim in doing so is to put us on top since he, the divine supreme being, is on top. He wants to put his servants on top. He will do, do this for every one of us who believe and will choose him for our God as he has chosen us to be his people. For we are the children of the aboriginal creator. And we are equal and we are justified in being put back in our own. As if every one of my people understood this of the truth that I am trying to make them to understand of God and ourselves. Before this book would be read, they all would be united unto our God and follow his servant. This is the aim and the purpose and the work that he, Master Farad Muhammad, God in the person to whom praises are due forever, do, came to do. He came to restore us back to self. All of these organizations that are trying to exploit this prophecy and truth cannot be successful in again dividing themselves into groups under a group leader to try and bring about unity of the people, of the nation, of the black nation here in America, united under one leader. They cannot do that. They must unite under a leader who God himself made for them, as it is written. Once we understand the root of the creation of heaven and earth and its function today, we learn that as a whole such function is under a God and a servant. So when we divide ourselves up into groups, and each one wants an independent leader. This is the work of the devil, white man. The devil brought us here for the purpose of deceiving us and putting one against the other is the basis of the rule of the white man. He has no power to rule black people unless he is able to divide them one against the other. For the black man will unite 
into black and take for his leader a divine guide. This will make the black man again a great nation that will rule the civilizations of the planet Earth. I am the one who God has chosen. He has chosen me and he guides me himself. And then he chose me as a guide for you. Allah God has the power to force us into submission to his will. Whatever he wills, it will be done. You cannot defeat his will, aim, and purpose to do what he pleases. So it is that to be equal today, we have to have equal knowledge and superior knowledge of self and kind, and we must use that superior wisdom to bring a better life than the life that destroyed our life. White race. The truth that I am teaching you came from the very mouth of Allah God who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad to whom praises are due forever. Any one of you, if you accept this truth, it will make you superior in a dominant people over others. You no more can submit to the teachings of this world, white race because the truth makes you feel proud of self because of its own self exalting and strength of stability it forges you into the zone of wisdom the moon and the sign of equality it was equal until it was torn away from the earth and lost its water water is the base of life this is the reason that Allah God has taught me that the moon is in our flag, among other things. The moon and its history compares to our history in being taken from our main native land and black people. This does conclude the moon section. Stay tuned for the next section, which is the star, the justice. But until then, I certainly want you to be well, be blessed, take care, enjoy the rest of this morning. It be at thy will, I will speak with you soon. Here on Palm Praise 2. So, until next time. Later, y'all.